Hello and welcome again to Channel 48. My name is Puck and thank you for tuning in. Well, in this video we're gonna create a portable Windows 10 USB drive that we can carry around with us, you know, whenever we go somewhere else to our friends uh, and we have some computer or laptop there, we can plug in that USB stick and the thing will boot up our own uh, uh, operating system with all our files that we have in there saved etc you know this is kind of handy if you need to carry you know important stuff with you and the operating system and 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 you're gonna use it on some other computer you know most of the times it's not really safe to just carry you know the information with you and then go into somebody else's computer and stick in the the information you know um, there are a whole lot of things that could happen that that, that information could be compromised it could be copied uh, it could be you know stay behind on people their devices that you affect trust but don't want them to have these these things that you did on the computer you know these are privacy related things who knows maybe there's some key logger in that computer that you're gonna use you don't know these things they really exist you know some people they think that every computer is just a computer and you can use it and and, and log in with your passwords and do all these things but <laughs> you know that's not the way it is man you know uh, i mean like your accounts should have at least a two-step verification meaning that whenever somebody gonna log into that account you know you will get SMS from Google or or that service that you subscribe to you know and they will say yo um, this is the code to log in and you'll be like code I never tried to log in so somebody's trying to hack my you know somebody got my password so you left your password behind on some computer out there you know so because of all these things and as well because it's just very cool to have all your stuff with you on a USB stick and the only thing that you need is, is some computer without even a hard disk installed you know to, 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 to power up your thing to do your thing you know log off again and split and leave back so for the next step you will need or the uh, the DVD the Windows 10 DVD I have one here okay but you can as well use a ISO file okay so now we copied the file to the desktop so I said you can as well go for a ISO file an image file and now we can go ahead and go to our desktop and select the image file should be here somewhere all the way on top and now we can as well select what version we would like to install i just want to go for the lightest of the lightest so i'm gonna go for home okay you could go for any other version but i'm going for home and please select the destination disk that will be the send disk drive and now it's saying mbr for bias gtp for uefi or mbr for bias and uefi i would go for both okay so then we have what is it saying this is not available in the free version okay mbr to bias then okay that's fine so we can we, we can create a uefi or MBR to bias. I'm gonna go for MBR to bias next. And now it's gonna do the do, whatever it's doing. It's creating partitions at this point. And this is the free version from Win to USB. You can as well pay, and then you will have even more possibilities okay 
this is only for non-commercial use so remember that uh, we cannot create a VHD X we can only create a VHD virtual hard drive size 28 gigabyte installation mode legacy let's go for legacy and what it's doing now now it's gonna install the system to the USB stick this is an amazing process this very nice tool so I want to promote it it's called win to USB okay so check it out I just wrote down uh, the startup of this project uh, with the creation uh, we started at about uh, 15 minutes past 5 in the afternoon 1715 for my European people and we're just gonna see how long it's gonna take we are still at 0% and uh, the flash drive is busy with receiving information so I'm gonna make myself some food and I'll be right back and one more little information uh, we're doing this on the e-machine the e520 this thing has a celeron processor and is not mama's fastest mm -mm. Dang. and it's saying installed successfully so um, yeah what we should do now is grab our USB stick change position there is the USB stick and we're gonna put it into this laptop because we are on holiday now and the friendly people there lent us this laptop and we're gonna restart with our own USB portable Windows 10 drive uh, I'm sorry about that I need to hit F9 not F10 okay and now we're gonna drive use uh, the USB SanDisk Ultra Drive we're gonna boot from that and there we go it's booting it's booting we just installed windows 10 to a usb stick peeps this is amazing this could not be done uh, from out uh, from out the normal installer so this is really cool whatever you're seeing now happening on the screen and even though the video is a little bit light You will find out that this all went right. Okay, some minutes later. The logo went away. We got into a black screen. And it's getting even blacker. And it rebooted. Oh my god. Are you mean? Really? Don't tell me. Don't tell me I wasted my... My time. Oh boy. Maybe it needed that reboot. I don't know. Otherwise something went wrong. You see that? Something is happening there. Then it goes to some VGA motors oh boy don't tell me that this failed this will be very sad if it failed oh 
Oh no, there we are. <laughs> that was just to trick me. Okay, okay, okay. This is better. Otherwise, I had to delete the whole bloody video. That wow, this is a good project. This is an amazing project. Only for the reboot just now. That was a reboot to fix the video driver. You understand? So we must understand these kinds of things, otherwise we will panic for nothing. And we know these just the moments from Windows, so that might uh, <clears throat> take some moments. I might start going to the kitchen and get me my food, my food is done my kitchen robot fixed me some nice food so i'm gonna make a video about my kitchen robot please at the same time to turn on narrator i was like who's okay, talking enough intro let's dig in i was like who's talking there man i was poor region is set to the united states is that right yes Amazing! <laughs> Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes, that's fine. Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. <laughs> now we have some important setup to do. Oh no, I don't have internet. Just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Wow. Eh, eh. So this is the new Windows 10. Look at that. Running straight from USB, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, yeah. Sound works. Everything works. Look at that. Nice and uh, simple. This is the home, uh, home version. Background. You can change. Okay, I set it up the system a bit and now we're gonna take a look at the real-time boot after the setup. Okay, and we're gonna boot from USB. And this is how it's gonna look after you installed it and went through the complete setup. This is how it's gonna look. And you might want to remove your USB cable, I mean, you might want to remove your Ethernet cable because, in fact, we did not finish the setup yet. Eh? We skipped a part of the of the setup. So, in fact, I uh, I will have to create a testers account because, in fact, I don't want to use my Microsoft account for this project. And this is uh, s running straight from USB, ladies and gentlemen. Logging in, channel 48, hello, welcome. Looks really good, I like this. Boot time is as well reasonable. I mean for an for a old PC. Well, this PC... I think it's my best laptop that I have here in the house. And I'm kind of happy with it. Only I'm not so happy about this, this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Ah, I can you know, uninstall it. Yes, uninstall. I don't want these things. This here. Unpin. I'm not going to use these things, you know. Because if you if you're gonna use these things, 
they must load before, you know, before they can open the start menu. Unpin. Unpin. And unpin. So now we should have, you see, a way faster taskbar. So this is how you can make the thing as well a little bit faster. Okay, the team is already uh, set to classic. This is the classic uh, team, I think, from Windows 10. And everything works nice. Settings. I think after some, some boot ups, it will be fine. Whoa, that worked really good. I'm so amazed. So now I'm very much inspired to go ahead and create uh, a Windows 7 light repair uh, yeah repair ISO soon we're gonna as well use it to create a light version and then restore that light version to USB you know including all sorts of tools built in such as uh, for instance uh, Arden Samsung USB drivers you know, a complete repair, uh, uh, yeah, ISO that I can run uh, on, on in fact, uh, my, 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 my Linux system, my GNU OS system, uh, whenever I need it. So then I don't need to have another Windows computer beside me. No, I simply grab that Windows USB stick, I boot from it, and I start doing whatever I need to do. And that all on one computer. I think it's it's amazing. Just think of it. We're so we're so spoiled. So um, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. If you think this video was cool, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you did not already. You know, hit that notification bell, and then all uploads. And then at least you will be notified whenever I upload a new video again. This was Puck Groningen signing out.